This is an electric uh, Hammond organ that I bought a while ago. I got it used um, for like, I think I paid $50 for it. So I feel pretty good about that. But it is older, needs a little bit of work. And that's why I'm, I'm documenting this in case it's helpful to anybody. I'll put the model number and all that in the description. Um, I've been playing it for a while. But you can tell, depending on how much, like whether or not I've got the Leslie engaged, how much I've been playing it, um, stuff like that. There's more or less, can you hear that? Scratching and popping. kind of stuff when I first got it um, there was a real problem with the with the pedal board that um, if I played it too much or played certain notes the whole organ would just turn off so I did take the back panel off and uh, like uh, blow dust it out and um, kind of try to get stuff a little bit cleaned up and it did improve a bit but still having some problems <laughs> So anything, any of the um, any of the presets that I that I put in seem to work fine, but the the tone the the tone bars don't um, don't work great. So here's just an example. I'm just gonna hold the C down here on the the uh, the lower the lower board the the grate here. So you don't you don't get much. Until you're on full. Here, I'll turn the volume up a bit more. So it's not providing that sort of like gradual increase. And I mean, basically below, it's like, it's on a, a system of one through eight, and basically below four, there's nothing. Nothing in terms of like actually getting sound out. So you can get some subtle sounds, but for the most part, it's like kind of an all or nothing situation. And I mean, with the pedal board, um, like, so I'm standing on a, what is it? I'm standing on a C right now. You probably can't hear it. I can tell there's a little bit of a rumble going on inside of the organ, but if I want that to make any noise, Bring out the eight, that's as much as it gives me. Which the mic might not even be picking up, it's very quiet. So I can get the 16, but again, there's no subtlety to it. So, it's the same thing everywhere. So, um, and there and there are other little quirks, you know, so the, some of the percussion stuff doesn't work quite right. Um, we've got one of the, the top lamp still turns on and off, but the pedal board lamp is no longer working. So, the idea is now to get in there with some of this stuff and see if we can clean some of the electric uh, electrical connections. Is that is that the right way to say it? Electrical connections? Some of the connections? Um, so I got a spray can and I got a paint on bottle as well and we're just gonna see if we can um, deox all of the connections in this organ and see if it sounds better as a result you can tell there's there's I don't know if the phone mic is picking this up there's just there's a constant um, there's a constant just like speaker static going on that is can be frustrating and really like sometimes I'll just the organ will be let I'll have been playing for a while and I'll step away to do something else and even when nothing's happening it'll just go it'll go wild with uh, really loud scratchy sounds um, anyway here's hoping this will work so uh, I'll add some more videos here in a minute 
So just starting with disassembly here, I got the pedal board out. It just clicks in these little holes. They're little pegs that go into these holes that hold it in place. And you can see these are the contacts. Once we get in there, we'll see what they make contact with. But, um, you know, real simple. Those just go down, you know, with each, each key. And when they make contact, it's supposed to produce sound. So that might be the point at which we're having trouble with this pull that it's not producing sound. We are getting this pull right now, but essentially nothing from this one across the board. So it might be something up here and it might be something down there. Well, hopefully find it and fix it. The room that I've got this organ in is a really, really tight space. It's a, it's actually half of my uh, shed that I finished a while ago to be my office. So it's, it's only like 10 by 12 feet or so. It's very small, so. Kind of a tight fit, but this is the back panel. I've taken this off twice before. Once when I first got it to kind of initially dust the inside out, and then again later to kind of do a slightly deeper clean. Now we're gonna get real clean. So it does give this little little guide for in what order to pull things apart and open things up. So we'll use that. I don't know what all I'm showing you. I unplugged it from here, you know, so as to not get shocked. Um, over here's the ID plate. And uh, yeah, just gonna now I'll get 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 this stuff opened up. Okay, so that's the back panel off. I uh, just put the four screws that held it in place back into their little sockets here so that they don't get lost. And this is the beginning of the guts here. So I, I did already dust this stuff off, and you can see. I mean, yeah, I don't know. There's a little bit of dust in here, but like not a ton new dust. Not not a ton of new dust has been able to gather in here. So I'm gonna blow it off uh, with a, just like a can of air and uh, use a vacuum to try to suck up as much of it as I can uh, for good measure here. But there won't be a ton of cleaning needed, unless I'd imagine I'll probably get into some deeper parts of the organ this time that I didn't get to before. But uh, I'll tell you what, I get a kick out of the great big you know, manual pipe organs. They're, of course, they're a, a thing of beauty, but this kind of thing too, I think it's just so cool. So cool to look at this stuff. Check out the, the tremolo speaker here. It's just physically spins. I'm not sure if the, I think the Leslie, I think this is actually the Leslie, but that's how you get the tremolo is also, eh, I could be wrong about this, but I think this is what you could refer to as the Leslie system or Leslie speaker, and that it also comes into play for the tremolo, but I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong about that. Um, look at that. <laughs> Not 50 cycles, 60. They corrected it. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Right up here, there's a little uh, little uh, warranty card. You know, if there's any issue with this unit right here, <laughs> this slip needs to be, needs to accompany it for servicing. And still got the slip there, super fun. So much cool stuff here. Here's our motherboard assembly and our daughter board assembly. Yeah, anyway, gonna clean stuff up and then open up the next the next phase here. Oh God, I thought it'd be fun. I plugged it back in. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit the power switch here and just watch this, this unit kick, and kick to life uh, real time here. It's fun. Here she blows. Let's see if I turn on the on the upper Leslie. The Leslie chorus here. And maybe some vibrato and reverb all at the same time. Yeah, it's fun. This is the next step after the back panel's off. It can be a little bit sticky, but going kind of trying to kind of get one edge, one end of the top panel. There we go. Popped up first. Oh, I just popped back in. That one's not as rough. So I don't know if the, all of them are like this, but 
what this one is. Okay, now I've got that one up. Got to hold on to it. There we go. Oh yeah, sneak around here. Get you a look in here. More cool stuff down there. So I opened it before to dust it off, and I'll do some more dusting here too. What I haven't done before is use that uh, the um, antioxidation stuff or the what is the called stuff again? Or the what's stuff called again? It's the the deoxid. Haven't used that stuff yet, or deoxit. I guess that's the that's the thing, isn't it? So I'm definitely gonna be taking like this panel off so I can get to all the connections inside here. All right, that's where all of our all of our percussion settings and stuff like that are contact connected there and then here we've got all of the connections for our slides so I'm definitely going to be cleaning all the way along these because that's where you know none of these some of these like I was saying like this one I can't get anything out of that one and looking at it, I don't see any problem I guess I can't tell where that cord goes exactly but at least at this, at this end it doesn't look like it's got any troubles but um hmm so look at that. These ones are soldered, but all the rest of these are not. Well, that might though. That might be because the pedal board is not like an integral part of this organ. You could get this organ without a pedal board, so maybe that's why. Anyway, just none of these are really functioning smoothly. They're kind of they're they're really jumpy, and they basically end up being all the way off or all the way on because there's not a there's not a smooth reaction to sliding them like there ought to be for a slide or at least the way at least like I would like there to be for a slide so definitely going to clean all along those and um every other connection I can get to that's going to be the game here is unplug a thing well these ones of course I can just clean right on them but a lot of stuff like this here it'll be to unplug it clean both ends and plug it back in because I don't want to risk forgetting where a thing was plugged in you know this is very much like a kind of clench your teeth and hope it works kind of operation here. So Now this is the last step for opening it up. Now I've got the top open. I'm going to take this middle bit and carefully... I'm just trying to watch to make sure I don't have any wires getting caught anywhere as I do this. It's looking good. Okay, and that, that rope is the right length to hold the tray up. So now, that's all the way opened up. Everything's open now. I mean, I still have to take some plates off like this stuff here. But that's all the way open. So, do some dusting real quick and then we'll start to uncovering more stuff and cleaning stuff up. It's fun. So I've been using this can of air and while well, it's unfreezing so I can use it some more figured I'd just pause a minute and look around I got uh, this really long string I forget how long this was it might have been a hundred feet of LED lights that's got a you know what it's a sound activated or at least it's got the option to be sound activated and like I'm all about preserving this organ I don't want to mess with it in any print way in fact this right here you might notice this this is a, a mouse pad that I trimmed to fit this panel right here. It's like a notebook panel, right? Um, but it's it just has a really light adhesive on it, and I only put it there because I just that's where I put my drink <laughs> when I'm playing, and I didn't want to mess up the the organ itself. So I I don't want to put these in in any kind of permanent way, but just for fun, especially with the sound activated thing, I just want to see if there's a decent place I could run them. Uh, the music lamp still works but i don't know how for how for how much longer it's going to work um it lights up going upward toward your books as well as downward which gets the the keyboard the at least the the top two boards um but the 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 foot lamp that is dead so i gotta figure out what kind of bulb it takes but i might also just put a different kind of light there so little things like that and i'm just looking along the keys here and just noticing like if you look down here there is not actually contact from the key to this piece of wood right here. Not on top, nor on the inside of this ledge. So I'm just thinking, as I take this apart and I'm fixing connections and stuff, that might be the place to lay these lights facing back, right? And so there'd be like this 
like ambient light kind of effect that like would come glowing up through the keys is how I'm imagining it. I think that'd be pretty fun. And uh, I'm just gonna put them on with this low adhesive double-sided tape so they could be easily removed later. So I'm not gonna damage this beauty here, but I might give it just like a temporary uh, for fun lighting job to see how it comes out. We'll see. We'll see how that comes out at the end. I'll keep my eye out for, for other spots to stick them to. The, the tape deck hasn't been working. If I can get it working, then I will. That'll be the first priority, the, the best option. But if I can't, there might be some way to bring that tape so that it finishes. The tape, I mean, of lights so that it finishes around here so I can have my controls for turning it on and off, setting it to the microphone um, setting and stuff like that right there. That'd be a handy spot for it. But again, nothing that can't be undone is the intention here. And can of air is probably ready to give a little more, so I'll get back to Dustin. Just thought it'd be fun to play the organ with its uh, with its guts hanging out. <laughs> disconnected down here so you can only get so big so I, I I probably should roll video more if my intention is to share this should it be helpful to anybody but uh, I took this panel off of here this is like the percussion and uh, sort of sec I, would you say secondary like the, the auxiliary stuff that the organ does right here got my percussion buttons um, that would and that includes the like rhythms for the organ to play for me, as well as the percussion switches for um, making it so that like the pedal board plays different uh, drums uh, as well, um, and then control for the music light here. <laughs> Excuse me, it's very dusty in here because getting this panel off. What I did do so far is I just put some some air through here, and I did think it'd be smartest to go top to bottom here, just because I'm going to be blown a lot of dust off of a lot of stuff. But um, here's the first little uh, connector that I unplugged. I'm just gonna basically just paint this with deoxit. And once it's all evaporated, I'm gonna plug it back in. I'm gonna do the same here and here and anywhere else I can find a connection. Uh, I'm just figuring that as long as I've got this thing taken apart anyway, I'm just gonna try to clean every connection I can find. I think the main ones that are causing problems are gonna be the slides right here and I don't yet know what, but something behind the speakers down here. Uh, so we'll be getting to that last, but uh, as long as I'm in here anyway, I'm going to dust everything off, clean everything as much as I can, and deox it on every connection I can find. And hopefully that helps. And especially hopefully doesn't screw anything up. <laughs> well, fingers, fingers crossed. So this one's pretty easy. I just used the, the brush bottle to just paint over the contacts there. And, um, and I went ahead and used it on this too. I, I don't honestly, I don't see any problem with these. I'm not 100% sure. I, I just, I think it's probably not gonna damage them at least. So those, those plug in right here. But then this guy right here, pop this one off. 
and the contacts for this plug are on the back side of the board. So I'm going to use the brush again there, but just going to have to be real careful with it and try to get around the back. I'm trying real hard to not get any of this deoxid on anything except for the metal contacts, just in case it has any negative effect on the plastics that are in here. Um, also, I noticed that like a lot of the um, switches and buttons up front, I can I can see. Oh, can I get the camera there? There we go. I can see where. Let me focus. I can see where the metal contacts are for that. I can get in there with a brush, and I think I'm going to. I might use the spray if I have to, but I don't want to risk it dripping down on all this stuff. So I can get in there with a brush with this switch turned off, and then I can turn it on and off a few times to kind of get that deoxid all the way across the contact panel in there um, and then just leave it in this position it'll evaporate away really quick that's one thing I'm going to do across all of these switches and if I can find I can't really see where the contact is for these buttons so those might those might not get it but these switches all of them anywhere that metal contact is accessible I'm going to go ahead and use it so. So I got all of the connections at the on the top, uh, like the lid part, um, all uh, covered in deoxid and uh, put back together. So now I'm starting on the slide bars. Um, so you can see these ones are still wet. I just barely went through and sprayed these ones. I haven't done these ones yet. Um, yeah, you can see that they're they're a little on the dirty side. So. Um, I've just, I've watched other people do this, um, and so what they seem to usually do is, uh, open it up all the way, and then use the spray-on deoxid with the, um, <clears throat> with the nozzle, um, straw. I've got mine turned around to low, because I don't want to overdo it. And then, uh, with it closed... I've been putting the straw in right here and then just giving it a quick squirt. I've seen a few people who put quite a lot on in there. They'll hold the button down for, for a minute. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe more is better. But so far, from what I can tell, just a quick little squirt has been enough. Then I've just been running them back and forth a few times like this just to make sure I get it, um, you know, kind of... Kind of really spread it in there uh, against where where these bars are making contact as well, and then I'm just leaving them closed so that it's exposed here so it can evaporate. Hopefully, uh, I also was careful to do another round of dusting before doing this because I don't want dust. I don't want to blow the air again now and then have dust land on this while it's wet and just get stuck to them. So these ones I haven't done yet. This is see if I can do this one handed. So. I'll close this first one, or open it rather, you know, that's confusing because we're coming from the back side here. And then uh, I'm just going to put the nozzle in here. And I think that's maybe just to help with controlling the overspray, maybe. Quick squirt. And even set to low, you can see, like, that was enough that it comes out. Oops, sorry. It's all soaked, you know, I, I definitely covered it, and so I'm let that run a few times. I don't know if it's of any interest to see, but this, so I've got a little, I've got a little mat here, I don't mind getting messy. That's what the spray comes out like. So you can imagine in a tight space like that, like that's, that's gonna kind of cover everything in there. So if I hadn't seen that in videos, I probably would have just gone with the, the brush bottle, which I've been using on a lot of the connections. Um and just brushed right onto this and then closed and opened it. And I don't know, maybe that still would be best because like I'm looking at these ones I've already done and like definitely have overspray. I don't know if you can quite see that. There's overspray on here. And so I mean, I'm gonna have to for sure do a, a good round of cleaning after this is all done to clean up any residue. But um, that's, that's where it's at right now. So I'm just gonna keep doing these. Just gonna keep going along here. Spray, run it back and forth a few times, and then leave it to evaporate. So, just wanted to do kind of a progress track ch check, having now uh, given all of these a lot of time to sit so that the um, residual deoxid could um, uh, could uh, evaporate. I've got it plugged back in now. There's still scratching and popping coming from the speaker. I expected that though. We haven't got down to that part. Of the organ yet 
but just to check the tone wheels, or tone wheels, the you know the tone bars, the slide bars, uh, the tone bars here. Um, let's see. This is our upper register. Or excuse me, our, our upper um, our upper board. This is so much better already. Where it used to be that every one of these was basically all the way on or all the way off with a whole lot of nothing in between. Unfortunately, because it's not plugged in right now, but I also, I suspect that it wouldn't go well anyway, because I think that a lot of the problems that the pedal board has had have to do with the connections down there on the floor. Yeah, that's, that's our great board. So these, are, these two right here are the pedal board slides, so hopefully those will have also improved you know because of having done this but let's check this last set here yeah it's really exciting and bonus oh hang on what about uh, there it is that's our piano solo wasn't working before at all. A lot of scratching though, still coming from that. I wonder, I'm not sure what we can do about that. It might still just be in the speaker, but the fact that that's getting worse when the piano solo is engaged, that is interesting. Um, and also, the twin mallet thing, well, I'll figure that, I won't burn up video time with that, but this is a, it's encouraging. If nothing else, this is definitely a big improvement for the um, for the tone bars already. Very worth it. Very exciting. I should have had this rolling before, um, and now let's see if I can even get this the settings back to it. While I was working on these units right here, the last time I plugged the organ in, um, I had accidentally turned on. I don't think that was actually it though. I turned on some of the percussion stuff up here. Oh, that's right. It was on the, it was this turning on the brush and snare drum on the lower. I actually accidentally turned all these on. Pedals aren't plugged in right now, so that doesn't matter much. But um, let's see if I've got that working now. Yeah. So now the lower is just giving me a snare and a brush. Um, but this is the volume control for that right here. And when turning this before, it was making the speakers really crackle and pop a ton. So I wish I'd got that on video. I didn't. I just went ahead and sprayed deoxit right here on this shaft, figuring it would run down like penetrating oil, and I, like oil, penetrating oil. And I sprayed it just a little bit right here too, and then just worked the the knob back and forth. I don't know if you can see the shaft turning right there, but I just worked the knob back and forth a bit, and it felt less and less gritty, and eventually felt smooth. And now I can turn it up and down and it doesn't make the speakers crackle and pop at all. So same effect in that way as getting it on the tone bars. And so now I'm like, oh, okay, show. So then every knob that I've got on this thing, I'm gonna find where I can put some deoxid on that too, because that seems like it's helping as well. So I've done uh, all of these now along here. I'm just taking it in sections because I don't want to forget how something plugged back in. Um, for the most part, when I can't get to the board contacts, I've just been painting on um, the oxit onto the the plugs, like in, inside the plugs. Like I, uh, let's see if I can, I can pop one of these out just to show. Because after all, I thought I would record this in case it was helpful to anybody. So it doesn't do much good if I stop recording stuff so I just have painted a, a fairly liberal amount right onto these connectors right here these contacts and so then I plug it in and unplug it two or three times figuring that'll help to kind of get it onto the you know the plate connectors that are on the other side of these boards 
Um, there's definitely a lubricant, you know, factor to the deoxit, and that's, you know, that's part of the formula, and you can feel that at work for sure. But that's that's been the method so far, and so far it seems to be either at least not doing terrible damage, or sometimes actually clearly doing good. So, so going going with it by sections so far. That's the top done. So we'll be able to put the plate back on this. We've got the this front portion of the center done, and I'm just getting started on sort of like this up inside bit. Uh, I can get to most of this stuff, but I'm finding a couple little connections I might not be able to get to. I might want to end up taking the the keyboard uh, boards off anyway to do a really thorough cleaning. So, you know, maybe, maybe they'll end up coming off anyway. So I've now unplugged everything here in this like mid section. Uh, hit it with the de uh, deoxid, plugged it back in, in, in most cases in and out a few times. I also, this is probably overkill. I don't know if I can quite get to where you can see one of these switches. You can see there's that little bit of metal right there. That's that curled bit of metal. I don't know what you call that. A, a, a spring contact or something. That's what, you know, when that makes contact, that's what uh, turns these, these, um, these things on and off. So I got the nozzle of the deoxid. See where my finger is there in that window? got the nozzle right there and just gave a tiny little squirt to each of these and then just flipped them on and off a few times. Definitely could feel them getting smoother. So if nothing else, the lubricating effect is there. Um, and then I also went along the top here and you can see the contacts for this percussion switch right here. You can see where those make contact right there. Like, I'd, I, I want to do a thorough job of this so I don't have to just take it all apart again soon to try to fix it again. At the same time, I'm worried about extreme disassembly because there's, you know, increased chances of breaking things or just getting confused and not realizing how to put stuff back together. So in this case, I was like, I'm, thinking, I'm not going to take this entire switch apart, but I went ahead and turned it off like that so there's room for that contact right there. Gave it a quick little hit of the deoxid spray and then just flipped it up and down. I went ahead and did the same with all these percussion buttons. The tiniest little hit of deoxid right on the shaft there, hoping that that would run down to where it needs to go. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything dripping out the bottom yet, so hopefully it's at least not been overkill and is causing damage to anything. Um, and then I did the same with these switches here. And with that, I think I'm pretty well done with this part of the organ, though I still haven't figured out how to take the the keyboards off which you know maybe that doesn't end up happening but if it does I'm assuming it's gonna have something to do with some screws and stuff back here so on to the next section so now I'm just gonna go along the truck down tray along the back here this sort of middle section and get all the plugs that are accessible from back here um, let's see if I can do this one-handed this has been kind of the method so these ones that oh goodness been lucky to not accidentally unplug any wires so far and my hand slipping like that so we've got some pin connectors and then some oh, these are oh so rough some plate connectors Let's see what we gotta what we do we've got something securing it there sorry to be Doing this one-handed. Just figured in case it was useful to see me making mistakes, so you don't have to make the same ones. I try to make them for you. Yeah. So that's got a zip, a little twist tie and staple in the way. So I'm just gonna undo the twist tie real quick. There we go. So in this case, what I've been doing is just using the brush to paint along these connectors here because they'll then, I figure I just give it a little extra, a little excess and they'll and I plug it in once or twice and it uh, gets the deoxid onto the con contacts underneath this board. And then the pins, I've been just painting the pins directly. I kind of do a bead along the top and then kind of make sure both sides are brushed and then plug this guy in, put it in and out a couple times. 
Um, same thing, figuring that way it'll it'll get everywhere. Um, and so far, I've just kind of been doing a section, then plugging the organ back in and pulling out all the stops and playing a bit, see if anything is noticeably worse. Of course, it makes me feel happy whenever something's noticeably better, but for the most part, it's that I'm trying to make sure I didn't make something obviously way worse. And if I do, I figure by doing it in small sections, that makes it... Oh, see, I got one pin off there. Whoopsie. By doing it in sections, that makes it easier for me to make sure I... If I have screwed something up, I, I at least have a reasonable idea of where the problem happened. Hopefully that won't happen at all. There won't be any problems at all, but that's been the method so far. So this one was kind of interesting. Um, there's some plugs that go over onto this side that could unplug just fine. Um, gosh, I hope I can remember where these went. Oh, jeez. Just about positive it was like that and that. Yeah, that would be it. Um, but these ones right here, I couldn't get unplugged until I slid the board over. So the board is in these mounts right here. And I slid that out a little ways, and that made it so I could unplug those two. So, so the few times I've opened this organ before, I've never opened these, these uh, mother and daughter board covers up. So I went ahead and opened this one pristine inside. I'm leaning toward not touching it right now. Um, I think I could pop these cards out and clean contacts there, but I'm worried about breaking something um, where it looks so clean. I don't know. I might, I might go ahead and put some deoxid right there along the contacts down there, just a tiny, tiny bit, let it kind of run down in, but I don't think I'm going to unplug these. And really, that's not so accessible with all of them, so I think I'm going to leave them at least for now, I'll get through everything else and see how the organ is sounding. And if there's still problems, then I'll come back to these. It's just four screws to get that cardboard top open. But I think I'm going to save this for last. If I go through everything else and the sound is great, I'm just going to leave these alone. But that's what they look like with the cover off. So this has me a little bit worried. Here, hopefully this will work out. So I came around to the back. I put this middle section up. I started cleaning out the connections on the underside of it from the back here and I was ready to move on to the some of this bottom stuff uh, where I thought and then I thought I'd pause and plug it in and turn it on and try it out and the the main wait the the great the great board oh jeez the great board was not working I'm hoping that this is why so I missed a pin there or misaligned this rather. So I'm going to unplug this one again. So I was going around looking for anything I might have missed plugging back in entirely. You know, any of these that might have been just dangling that I'd missed entirely. So found that one. So it's now plugged in hopefully correctly. And hopefully that was the issue. So I'm going to plug the organ back in here. Turn it on. And I think I left the bombard activated. Uh-oh, it's still not doing it, though. Let's see if we can figure it out. Top, oh, got to turn the top on. Okay, top's working. Uh, it's still not working for the, for the gray, so... Got to figure this out. Dagnab it. Might have been... Forgot that turned off. Oh, this seems right. Well... So I'll keep messing with it. Just turn the camera back on here in a sec. Well, I went back over everything I disconnected and took it apart, put it back together again, looked for any wires that might have come unplugged from their little spots or, or, or broken or frayed. I couldn't find anything. But there is a lot of tension on this guy right here. And I, this does have... There are controls here that have to do with percussion that silence or turn on the the great uh great board what do you, what do you call this again <laughs> the, the manual the great manual um so swell is still working but this guy's not though and i don't think the phone can pick it up but interestingly there is a little bit of low hum from these notes which makes me think it might be something to do with this unit up here so here's the thing though 
that makes this extra tricky. This has happened before, and this is kind of one of the mm, quirks that I was hoping this kind of like take apart, clean up, repair kind of exercise would help to address. It's happened actually with both the swell and the grate in the past where suddenly the entire manual just stops working. I don't know why. And after a while, it starts working again. So now I don't know if that's what happens to be happening right now, and it just coincidentally occurred as I'm going through this process, or if I have messed something up. So I'm going to carry on cleaning other parts of the organ. Then I'm going to come back once more and run through everything that I've done already up to this point, up to the point where that stopped working, and just see if that has some effect. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to put it back together and hope that it is another quirky, temporary silence that will resolve itself. Also, I'll upload this to YouTube, and so if anybody uh, in the, you know, the teeming masses of, um, of electric organ enthusiasts happens to come across this and can see the mistake I made, uh, feel free to let me know. I'd love to know. <laughs> but uh, wish me luck. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make more little videos. As I go along, one thing I did do, I had to, I, I cut a small hole on the side of the, it's just like a paper cardboard box that surrounds the volume pedal. Um, so I wanted to be able to get in there to, uh, to, to dust it out and to use a little bit of deoxid on some of the connectors. And um, so you can see I, I used a knife to cut this right here and then I figured once I'm done it'll be pretty easy I just left it like a little a little hatch a little trap door kind of thing really hard to see sorry should have brought a light back here but um, basically that opened up so I could get in there and do the cleaning that I needed to or wanted to and now I can close that back up I might add just a quick piece of tape over it to hold it shut and uh, yeah hardly even tell um, and, and so, so next up is now just to, I'm just going to start over here, going through the plugs, unplugging, applying deoxid, replugging, and um, then I'll move along over here. And it's hard to say, it's hard to say for sure. I'm sure you can hear, of course there's going to be some sound, I mean there are moving parts, like the, the wheel here, right? So there is some sound still. But the crackling and popping that was happening before definitely has improved, it seems, right now. And I think that that's down to the volume pedal more than anything else. That's just based off watching a lot of videos of people working on really old amps, like guitar amps, and using deoxid on, the, on like volume controls. Um, it didn't, it didn't, if that is what did it, it didn't work right away. That was yesterday evening that I did that, and now it's the next morning. I let it run for about two hours. Um, I put a trumpet mouthpiece on one of the keys just so it would make noise for part of that. Just let it kind of drone away for a while. I don't know if that has any effect really. But this morning, turn it on, not nearly as crackly and poppy, at least so far, as it has been in the past. So that's an encouraging, an encouraging little bit of, um, a little bit of news. So, so I, had, I had fully expected that these uh, metal tongues for the pedal board would make contact with metal plates underneath, but it's just buttons. I, I did not expect that. So it's super dusty and, and hairy down here. The previous owner had dogs, and you can tell. But, uh, I don't mean that to be casting aspersions upon the previous owner. Very nice person. Just, uh, dog hair gets in places, and usually closer to the ground, the more. But these are buttons instead of contacts. So, so I'm going to blow it out, vacuum it out, and I don't know if there's really anywhere to put deoxid down here. It's all plastic. But do that. So getting somewhat desperate to fix the grate board, um, I, uh, I, <laughs> or excuse me, the grate, the, the manual, the main manual, I've, I've left the organ running and I put a couple of trumpet mouthpieces on some of the keys. So the idea here is I, I know that the swell manual is functioning so I've got a mouthpiece on a G. The grate is what's not functioning so I've got a mouthpiece sitting on a C. 
and for good measure I had one on a C sharp as well so I'd really notice if anything changed and I've just been going through unplugging and replugging everything to see what happens as you might predict anything that has to do with the swell when I unplug it sometimes nothing happens but that's because it's probably because it has to do with uh, stops that aren't engaged but often I unplug something and you know the G disappears so far I haven't heard a C or C sharp for that matter suddenly appear until I got to this plug right here J16 okay so first first I unplugged the top piece and it took me a minute to get it back on and nothing happened but then I got J16 out and I, I expect everything over here to affect the top swell manual not the great lower manual so I unplugged it went quiet as I would have expected went to plug it back in and you can hear as it kind of makes contact it kind of will add noises and at one point as I was pushing it back in suddenly I had a big full C major sound that C definitely came back but it it was just for a sec so now I'm looking I'm like well it probably wasn't actually this plug but like what else was my hand touching as I was pushing that in there's some connection that was affected so I gotta keep going hopefully find it but it's something here or that was bumped by the back of my hand as I went along <laughs> I, I've been vacillating between like just acceptance just being like it just is what it is and just deal with it and being like no I must you know I'm gonna count these wires I don't have time for that you know uh, man so this was a very uh, almost cruelly uh, encouraging thing to have it have it appear for just a moment and then disappear again. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, no, I was wrong. You hear that big loud sound now? Big deep sound. See how this is like part way on? I was just putting it on and off like at different angles trying to figure out what had happened. But check it out. I'm not engaging any keys right now. Watch. I'm just like shorten the thing out and so it's just playing keys I actually give it a a healthy connection this is as as one might expect definitely just controlling the upper alas all right so I guess I found it so there you, you see I got that mouthpiece on a C oh and actually I should check if this Oh yeah, that one's just really quiet. I can hear it there. It does work with all of the stops, it seems. So it was this this board right here, J103. I it seems to be plugged in right. Here's the weird thing. Watch this. I'll unplug it at the risk of tempting fate here. Unplugged, it totally works. Seems to have some funky. Oh, interesting. I think that that must be controlling some of the sounds that would be coming through for some notes, but not all of them. But the thing is, that was plugged in before, and I wasn't getting any sound out of the great organ. And so then when I unplugged it, that's when it started working. Then I plugged it back in like that, it stopped working. I was like, well, what the heck? That's weird. I'm just going to have to leave it unplugged for it to work. Unplug it again. Works plug it in again, doesn't work, okay? Now this is where I've tempted fate, because after doing that a few times, eventually I plugged it in and it still worked. So I might have to use both hands to do this more smoothly, but maybe I've just screwed everything up all over again. <laughs> but it seems to be this guy. This seems to be the culprit. All right, I got it to where it'll still work while plugged in. I don't know what this might have to do with it, but I found that by using both hands, I could be more precise. If I came down on the right side first and then the left, it killed the grate. But if I came down on the left side first and then the right, it worked. I'm not gonna unplug this again. So I don't know if this is reproducible if any other organ that's having a similar problem, or if this makes any sense to people who understand these organs better than I do. But look at that, it seems to be working now. So now everything's plugged in as it should be. 
and it seems like the swell's still working and the grate seems to be working uniformly I'm just switching through the yep do the same for the swell here Everything seems to be working. Let's check the pedals too. Seems to be working. So, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the face, I'll tell you what, that is it. I'm gonna close this thing up, put it back in the corner, and hopefully never have any need to take it apart again until 50 years from now when I get it cleaned up to pass on to my very, very cool grandchildren. So feeling now like I've really lucked out in being able to figure out how to get both manuals working again and that the, I'm really happy about the tone slides um, uh, or the tone bars, uh, you know, the slide bars working so well now after having worked this all out. Um, I decided to not inter put any of those LED lights internally, which maybe some of you will be breathing a sigh of relief to hear that and I can understand that feeling. But I did go ahead, before I push, pushed it back into its corner, and put this big long string all around the exterior. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just see how that looks. Um, easy to remove, won't damage the organ. So. so that's it just glowing. Kind of fun. I'm going to add the pedal board in, and then we'll try out the microphone function of those lights just for the, just for the fun of it. pedal board itself now that I know that it doesn't need any um, detox it on these contacts since they're just pushing buttons I'm just gonna make sure that they're all straight some of them have been kind of bent um, make sure they're all relatively straight and just it needs some cleaning so I'm just gonna vacuum it off real quick real quick and plug it back in so I stuck it in and my E flat wasn't playing everything else was so I pulled it out and it looked like this guy had got caught and bent down like that so I've straightened it out now. Gonna put it in a little more carefully. See if we get them all this time. Yeah, that did it. So. Oh, I didn't want to go for a minute. Ooh. Oh, what's going on with C down here? I wonder if it's just. so I can make it more likely to get a good connection every time. I also could wiggle this a little bit. It's got a little bit of give. Uh, yeah, I didn't do it yet. Well, actually, no, no. Yeah, you need to bend that a little. All right, so, oh, that's sensitive. Got that mic in, or that mic setting set up on the lights now. It's pretty. Pretty responsive. Oh. So, let's give it some big chords here. Um. Turn on some percussion here. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> 